Okay, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty episode in Call of Duty Clems Electronic Workshop, and I don't know why this microphone is on my bench, because I'm not even using it. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little experiment with diodes. Just some diode testing, see which diodes are quick and which diodes are slow. And this is the setup we've got. So I've got a square wave oscillator, which is going into this transformer here to make sure that the output is AC only. And this is where the diode we're going to test is connected, or going to be connected. And then over here, it's got a little 10k resistor acting as a load for the diode. And we're going to see what the scope makes of it. This is just going to be like, like I said, like a quick and dirty video because I'm currently in between TVs at the moment. That big 40 inch TV is broken again and it's just not worth fixing again so just got my other little TV out at the moment and I'm going to be fixing my main big TV later on. I've got some boards coming which hopefully should work with the screen on that thing, so that's going to be in another video. Okay, let's do this. Right, so let's see it first. Um, I have no idea why the scope picture is so skewed at the bottom. I mean, it's perfectly straight at the top, but for some reason I just cannot get it perfect. But let's see what we have with no diode, so those two wires just connected together. And of course the stupid thing is not working again. Right, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a moderately good square wave on the scope screen. So when I put a diode across this thing, ideally what we should have is nothing below this line here. All of this at the bottom here should just be gone, and we should just be left with what's at the top here. So, let's try some diodes. Um, firstly, let's try our crappy 1N4007 diode. Now, the frequency I'm using is about 45 kilohertz, so a diode like this should not be able to rectify at that kind of frequency because they're just not that fast enough. So let's see what we get. Well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's try that with a diode that I know is fast enough. Let's try it with... One of these FR207s, is it? Yeah, FR207. So this is a fast recovery diode, so that should amplify, I mean, that should rectify it just fine. Et voila! Let me just uh, move that a little bit so that's right on the line. There we go. Nice, clean, rectified square wave. Well, let's try it with one of these big diodes. Now surprisingly, that isn't too bad. I thought a diode of this side would have, I mean this size, this is an IR300L I think. I'm only getting a little tiny bit of um, blur there, so yeah. Let's try my high voltage diode that I made out of a few FR2000, what was it now? EM513s. Now I thought that these were fast diodes. This is what I used in my vacuum tube Tesla coil. I've really got to get back to the high voltage stuff. Let's just probe across one of the diodes, if I can get that on there. 
and if the stupid clip would actually open as you can see it isn't that good let's see what what we get with an LED a blue LED because blue LEDs are always so bright It would help if it was the right way round. I cannot get my clips onto this thing. There we go. That's now that is rectifying that really nice. We got quite a lot of voltage drop there, but we can expect that considering that's an LED. It's probably like two and a half volts, something like that. And finally, let's try it with a 1N4148 diode. Oh, there is one more diode I want to try, and I think I've got this the wrong way around again. No, I haven't. Forget I said anything. Ah, that works pretty good. Nothing going below the zero. That's what we want. So, either these diodes all these dies, although I think more preferably these dies because these are a little bit bigger, would be useful in that circuit, that audio amplifier, that or, that magnetic or that magnetic audio amplifier. I haven't given up on that. Just haven't had much time to do much with it. Oh, there is another diode I forgot. A full bridge rectifier. Let's see what that gives us. So, I'm going to put my AC into this side here. And we'll find a positive. There it is. Let's see how well that works. And yeah, I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Good for mains frequencies. I think the whole thing was out of the camera. But good for mains frequencies, not really much good for much else, but I've got something, I've got another little project in, that involves this, so keep that safe. Now, where was that? Um, Alright, let's try it with this pooched microwave oven diode. Now, I know there's going to be quite a lot of voltage drop, there might be too much voltage drop across this to measure anything, but... Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's not going to measure... Um, yeah, that's not going to rectify much in the way of high frequencies. Surprisingly, I know this diode looks pretty bad, but it actually still works. it melted the tape that I had holding it in place. So it's not really the diode, that's just the tape around it that's melted. Now somewhere, and I don't know where it's gone, I was also going to try with a shocky diode, but that seems to have vanished, just because I'm making a video. I'd like to test this with some germanium diodes, but I don't have any germanium diodes, so I'll have to do it with the next best thing. An old germanium transistor. Let's see what we get out of this. Forget which is the base and which is the emitter, but there is a diode basically between those two pins, so let's see what we get. Okay, that I did not expect. I expected that to be a lot faster than that. I did not expect to see anything at the bottom there. I thought that would be nice and quick, but it's not. Mind you, it probably would be better if I was using an actual germanium diode to test that with, rather than the junction between base and emitter of a transistor, but... Yeah. Now... If I could just find that shocky diode, 
Well, I'm not going to bother editing this video, so you're just staring at nothing right now. And I don't know where that's gone, so we'll just have to stop the video here. So, until next time, goodbye.